is Vienna. Capital and largest city of Austria. About two million people. And definitely a very, very historic city where Mozart lived and wrote his music. This street here is called Maria Hilferstrasse. And this is a famous shopping street that heads down to the uh, center of the city and the historic old city. As you can see, a spectacular sunny day and it is hot. This is the hottest uh, day that I've experienced on this trip so far. It's definitely feeling like summer. So just going to uh, walk on down the street and show you some of the amazing sights of Vienna. Johann Strauss, KFC, Seven Sins Erotic Shop, Streetwear Club Hair, Secondhand, Comics, Records. Quite a juxtaposition of uh, different types of uh, businesses here. Kebab is everywhere. This is the Maria Hilfer Church and a statue of Joseph Hayden, an Austrian composer, born in 1732. This is the Volkstheater, which means the People's Theater, founded in 1889. Happy birthday, Maria Theresia. 300 years ago, Maria Theresia, 1717 to 1780, who is celebrated in this monument, was born in Vienna. In 1740, she succeeded her father, Emperor Charles VI, the last male Habsburg ruler in what were difficult times. Almost all the European powers waged war against her, believing that the young woman would not be able to hold on to her crown. How wrong they were. Maria Theresia became one of Europe's greatest rulers, who not only successfully defended the realm she had inherited, but also set in motion reforms that created the foundations of a modern state and gave birth to no less than 16 children. Come and meet Maria Theresia. And so this is the monument that it is uh, referring to with Maria Theresia at the top of the monument. And here we have the Museum of Fine Arts. And across from it, the Museum of Natural History. Both of these buildings were built at the same time between 1871 and 1891. This is the Austrian National Library, which houses four different museums. And this entire complex is the Imperial Royal Palace of uh, Austria, where the kings and the royal family lived. It was constructed originally in the 1200s AD. And it is now the official residence and workplace of the President of Austria. 
Bundesgarten, Volksgarten, the people's garden. This neoclassical building was designed by the court architect Peter von Nobile between 1811 and 1823. It was devised as the home and setting of a single contemporary artwork, Antonio Canova's magnificent Theseus slaying the centaur. For almost seven decades, this impressive marble group stood in the Theseus temple, but in 1890 it was removed to the newly erected Kunsthistorisch Museum, where it remains to this day. Over a century later, a new exhibition series organized by the Kunsthistorisch Museum Vienna returns the temple to its original purpose by presenting a major work, and so that was uh, what was seen inside the building there, by a contemporary artist at the Theseus Temple every year. The bronze statue, Young Athlete, in front of the Theseus Temple dates from 1921 and is by Joseph Mulner. That statue there. This is still the People's Garden. This is the Austrian Parliament building, completed in 1883. And this is the amazing City Hall of Vienna, constructed in a neo-Gothic style and completed in 1883. On those banners there, then it says Wiener Festwoschen 2017. That is a cultural festival that happens here in the square in front of the City Hall, and it looks like that might be what they're uh, setting up right now. It is a free open air cultural uh, festival. Too bad I uh, won't be here for that. That would be amazing. This is Sigmund Freud Park. Sigmund Freud lived here in Vienna. And the Votive Church completed in 1879. This is called the Donna Canal, and it is basically part of the Danube River. And this is St. Stephen's Cathedral, the most important religious building in Vienna, constructed in the 1300s. 
really impressive. Hard to get the uh, full scale of it from this angle because it is surrounded by these other buildings. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Vienna, an amazing and historic uh, city here, the capital of Austria, with a lot to see. Next stop, Bratislava, Slovakia. See ya.